Hi, Dave. Hi, Maria. I read your white paper and uh, you mentioned this framework that the WHO has created that has some uh, applications in our work with teenagers with hearing loss. Could you tell me a little bit more about this model and uh, how it, it can be used in our work as audiologists? Yes, the framework is called the ICF framework and that stands for the International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health. And a key element of that framework is participation. So if we think about our teens with hearing loss, I think we as audiologists have this opportunity to sit with them and talk about within a typical week, what are all of the activities that they participate in? And then for us to have them rate how meaningful that participation is. And I think this gives us a really nice opportunity to understand how well their hearing technology is supporting them. So in your paper, you write about the recent study that you did uh, with Oticon Real, where you, uh, you, you've done the research specifically with teenagers and you look at sudden sounds, wind noise and listening fatigue. Why did you feel that these things were particularly important to look at with teenagers? So at Oticon, we talk about life-changing technology and with the introduction of the Oticon Reel and these very unique features of wind and handling noise and sudden sound stabilizer, we had this opportunity to really explore another new domain and that was how available communication is in these environments that have wind or where these sudden sounds are. And so it really was exciting to understand how well we might be supporting teens with this new technology. As part of your research, you also did these semi-structured interviews where you talked to the teens and they had a bit more opportunity to talk freely about their experiences with Oticon Real. In your mind, what were the most important insights that you got from these conversations? One of the wonderful things about interview research is the participant, these teens, we get to hear their story. And they told us their story about the fantastic experiences with Oticon Real. One participant described how it affected her self-confidence. So she described a scenario that was very common where she would go for a walk with her best friend outside. And now with the Oticon Real, she had this new sense of confidence that she would be able to fully understand all of the conversation. And I asked her, how did that feel? And she said, I just felt normal. Like I could really just participate and just be myself and not have to worry that I wasn't hearing well. Another participant described increased engagement with Oticon Real and that previously with their other hearing aid, he used to leave them at home when he would go to his after school job. And that was because he worked in a grocery store uh, in the bakery and there was a lot of noise, oven doors opening and closing, uh, alarms going off. And he said it simply was too much, too much competition to try and hear those noises with the people he wanted to listen to. And he noticed a big change with the Oticon Reel and he described that now all of those sudden loud sounds, they were put in the background and it was so much easier uh, to hear the person in front of them. And then I guess the final theme that really emerged was the idea of engagement. And one of our participants who was a track and field athlete described being at practice uh, for javelin. And he had described that previously when it was a very windy day, uh, he would throw his javelin and he would have to talk to his coach afterwards about how well he did. Now with the Oticon Reel, he was able to hear not only the measurements of his throw, but actually the measurements of his classmates. And he said that provided him this opportunity as they all walked back to the school to talk about how well his friends did. And he said now he really felt this feeling of belonging to, to, his, to his friends, that he had something to talk about because he now had access to that information. That was, was really wonderful. Oh, that's really nice. It reminds you why you became an audiologist in the first place, huh? Yes. Thank you, Dave, for sharing all this. This was really interesting to hear. You're welcome.